Okay, so I want to um, introduce Penny. Thank you very much, Penny, for um, supporting me today. My pleasure, um, my pleasure. I'm actually doing a workshop for Western College, uh, their Work for the Future series. Um, and what I want to do today is talk a bit about branding and marketing and why it's important. And rather than just um, giving the theory, what I wanted to do was tell some stories. So really try and bring to life the process of the benefits and the outcomes, mm. really. Um, so I thought it would be good to have a chat with you, giving you yeah, a client no, and a trusted client, lovely. Um, Thank you. just to talk about it. So mm. first of all, just introduce yourself, obviously, and your business. So I'm Penelope Allard, and I'm the director of Wild Bookkeeping Limited. I've been bookkeeping since I was 13, started working for my dad. And then when I finished my A-levels, went to work for my dad's accountant, and then I moved into working in industry. I did that right up until my children were born. Um, then I went into teaching accounting because that fitted in better around the children. Then the children got to an age where that really wasn't working anymore and I needed to be around in the evenings. And some opportunities came up for bookkeeping. So I decided to set up my own practice. But at the time, it was just a very small side hustle really to pay for the swimming lessons the ballet lessons um, it was never really intended as a proper business so I put no thought into who I was what my business was I just needed a name to put on a tax return form so it was just Penelope Allard bookkeeping services and that that brings us nicely then into the question of you know why did you actually decide that you wanted to um revisit your brand and you came to Insight 101 obviously mm. what was the situation you were in at the time? So my business had grown I had actually got divorced and when I got divorced I was faced with the decision do I go and get a proper job as everybody advised me to do or should I grow my business and I really enjoyed the clients I had already I didn't want that to change and to be honest with you my children needed me more than ever and the idea of going out and doing a normal proper job as everybody says just wasn't what I wanted to do so I decided to grow my business and I was very successful in that and within a relatively short space of time found that I had a business that had grown I had staff I was working full-time I was starting to put myself out more on social media and at that point my name Penelope Allard Bookkeeping Services one was too long it didn't really say anything about who I was. It was just bookkeeping services. And I also wanted a business that I could eventually sell. And I wanted to get my name off from the top of the door. It needed to become, from what was just a side hustle to earn a bit of extra money, had grown into a proper business and it had outgrown its name. It needed something more substantial. Right. And so we, we went through this process. And I mean, how would you describe that to kind of the people in the room here I feel like going to therapy <laughs> so Philippa asked so many questions really dug deep um, into what made me tick really and what made me who I am why do I approach things in the way that I do and initially when Philippa asked me so what's your USP what makes you different and it's I don't know, I'm just a bookkeeper, you know, people drop things in and I guess I'm cloud-based and I'm paper-based, but isn't everybody these days? And I couldn't really see what was different. But by the time we'd gone through the conversation, I realised that, yes, actually, I am different. We're all different. How we all approach our, diff our business is different. And understanding really what makes me different, me as a personal individual, my, my business is no different. I do exactly the same as every other bookkeeper. But what's different is the way that I approach life, the way I approach my clients. And it's actually really important, I think, to understand that because you need clients that are going to match you and are going to want to work in that way as well. Otherwise, it's just not going to be a happy match at all. Um, and it doesn't just go for clients. It applies to staff. It applies to everything that you do. And there's no point pretending to be somebody else. You just need to look at who you are and own that and accept it. So we, the process brought us to Wild Bookkeeping and yeah. the Wild Bookkeeper. Um, and obviously beyond the name, um, what, what has happened as a result of, of this work? You know, what are the benefits? What have you found to kind of 
what well having found benefits I guess is the question I have so one it actually feels like a, a, a proper grown-up business which seems an odd thing to say and I got my practice license in 2008 so I've been doing this for a very long time and I started bookkeeping as I say when I was 13 which was you know, yesterday um, but it now feels I've got a proper solid grown-up business um, my logo as you can see sort of the the wild and the waves um, it was really interesting choosing that process and we went in the end for a really bold wild which is standing firm in the waves which I've been through a lot of adversity in my life and it's made me quite tough in some ways but equally caring I understand different situations and there's a flexibility there and so the logo for me really emboldened everything that we had discussed so it's not just a logo. And I found it was a really good discussion points with my clients when I explained we were rebranding and I talked about the logo. They could see that and they suddenly said, oh, you know, we, we get it. We understand it. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That's that's really you. Um, it's made my social media so much easier. Um, since I launched the company officially on the 1st of October, I've been posting every single day and my social media following has grown. I've actually now started to get leads from LinkedIn and from Instagram as well um, and my logo and my brand makes it so much easier I mean I, I can immediately take my brand values and the things which Philippa put together in my blueprint I can use those and convert those into social media posts interspersed with other bits and pieces so that pads it out and fleshes it out makes your your planning is such much easier you've got instant posts there and actually they generate conversation because they're telling people who you are and I find if I'm looking at anything else I want to post if I'm coming up with an idea and I think yeah I'm going to post this but how do I actually turn that around to my business I call up my blueprint again and I read through the blueprint and then I can find the angle that I need to turn a situation into who we are and what we're doing so it's made a huge difference to my marketing great so lastly um what advice would you give anybody who's who's watching this today and and who is also at the the workshop which is all about brand obviously so I, I would say have a really good think about who you are what makes you tick how you've come to that business journey look at how you can turn that around and apply that to your business what are the benefits so um one of the key things for me was a photograph that my daughter took at a quite a special time in our lives when we, we'd just gone through the divorce and we were just starting to face those challenges and I was standing on the beach facing the waves and actually that just applies to so many things in life because I'm standing there facing the waves facing adversity it's the same if I've got a client with a difficult set of accounts I draw on that photo that photo and the feeling that I had at that time is inspiration for so much and that actually is what's encapsulated in my brand. So I think you need to dig deep. You need to think about what really makes you tick. Think outside the box, don't think about business. It's gonna be something personal, something within you. And then once you've got that, you can put it out there. You don't have to tell everybody your personal story, but once you've worked out what those values are and what's important to you, that then is the, the foundations, if you like, that you can build everything on. And you will find then that everything that you do, the clients you want to work with, the staff you want to employ, the face that you want to put out to the world, your marketing, your social media, will all build on that foundation stone. Great. Thanks very much, Penny. That was brilliantly um, said. Um, and thank you very much. My I hope pleasure. It benefits everybody. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.